Hi everybody! In this video we are going to take a look at creating our own custom palettes inside of Photoshop. So the first part of this is we're going to look at doing it with a grayscale base and then the second part we are going to look at creating random swatches and then getting them to mix with a base color. This is going to be fun. I think you're going to really enjoy it. So let's get started. On this file I have a um, I just have a bunch of swatches up here that are put inside of a folder called grayscale. And then I have some more swatches that are called random colors. We don't need the random colors right now, so I'm just going to turn that off. And by the way, if you're watching this out there on YouTube, don't worry if you don't have the file. You can just create a bunch of, a bunch of squares on your own and you can do it that way. It's just fine. Okay, so for the grayscale, what we're going to do is we're going to work with the swatches panel. I want you to find the folder called grayscale and twirl it open. If you can't see your swatches panel, come up to window and then come down to swatches and make sure that it's checked and it should appear. So for our purposes, I'm not going to deal with the pure white or the pure black today, but we are going to work with the ones all that are in between there. Click on your first square in the upper left hand corner and then click on the swatch. And it will just change the different colors for you. And I'm going to do that for every one, moving over one swatch each time so that I get all of these lovely shades of gray in there. Now you have to really keep a track of where you are so when you get to this area you don't lose your place in what you have done and what you have not done. So just remember what, remember which ones you've clicked on. I hope I do this correctly. <laughs> okay, here we go. I think I'm doing okay. Yep. Uh, maybe not. I think I skipped one. Nope. Here we go. Phew. <laughs> now you've got this lovely range of grays. Fantastic. Okay. So in your in your layers panel, close up that grayscale. Create a new layer and we're going to put this actually above that main folder. This is going to be my base color that I want everything to blend with. So now we get to go out and choose a lovely color that really speaks to us. So I'm a, I'm a huge fan of blues. You find one that you like, okay? When you have selected your color, make sure it's loaded. You can see I've got it up here in my swatches. And then I'm going to choose the paint bucket tool. Now you can click on it or you could hit the G key to select it. And then simply fill the canvas with that color. Now obviously we can't see the swatches underneath. What we're going to do is we are going to um, turn this into our little clipping mask. So you can right click on this and then come down to clipping mask. Sorry, that's, over, that's off screen just a little bit. Okay, now that color has been crimped around our squares but we can't really see the gradations yet of the different gray colors. So what you can do is just come over to opacity and play with the slider. The more see-through it is, the more variation in the color you're going to get. But you see how you can really just, ah, it's so beautiful. Just play around with it. That setting is about 33%. I like that a whole lot. That's, that's really beautiful. Okay, next I'm going to turn off that base color and let's come down here and play with these random colors. Now this guy you can see is just a bunch of boxes just like before, but we are going to do something here. This you have to do a little bit differently. If you want to choose from swatches that are pre-existing you're certainly welcome to do that okay you just click on them and it's gonna post it it's gonna change the color right there but if you want to do something from the color color strip here it's gonna be a little different so I wanted to show you this technique get your move tool I hit the letter V 
and then I'm going to click on the one that I want. If your, hot, your rectangle is not highlighted here in the Layers panel, I want you to come up and make sure that your Auto Select is chosen, it is checked, and then try it again. Okay. So Rectangle 1. Now watch this. If I were to come over here and choose a color, you'll notice that it didn't update in here. It just works a little differently within the color panel, okay? So what we have to do is just a little different. I'm going to choose my rectangle tool, okay? And then now let's change the fill. So you can find the fill up here, okay? And then you can go to your color panel and then you can choose something and then you should be fine. Let's do that one. Yay! Okay, I'm going to go next one, hit the letter V, and then you're going to choose the rectangle tool again, which is, which is U. Come up to fill, come down, and choose a different color. And just do that all the way across the screen. Now this is going to take me a little time, so I am going to speed this up inside of the video. Okay, you have all of your color swatches in there now. All that's left for us to do is to turn back on our base color. With the second set of colors, now you have colors that have been blended with our, with our blue. So any of these would really, really match it. How fun is that? Okay guys, Play around with these colors some more. I hope you enjoyed seeing this tutorial. I'll see you in the next video.